I don't expect anybody was surprised by the news that we got late this week. This is one of the worst kept secrets, I think, in terms of professional wrestling. It wasn't a matter of if, but when and how long it was going to take for the eventuality to happen. And that was, of course, Rob Gronkowski. Gronk has signed a contract with World Wrestling Entertainment. Imagine that. Yeah, I think we've seen the writing on the wall with this for a few years now. A few years back when he made the appearance at WrestleMania to help his friend Mojo Rawley. You know, ever since then, especially as his football career was winding down, there's been lots of talk and speculation and belief that someday this was going to happen. That someday the Vince and WWE were going to want him. In fact, already did want him. And at some point in time, Gronk was going to go ahead and make the leap, take the plunge, and sign a contract and give this wrestling thing a shot. I don't think that should surprise anybody. I don't think it does surprise anybody. Now, surely, as always, you can't please everybody, no matter what you do. You will have those fans that will sit there and say, oh, great. Somebody that's not a wrestler is being brought into wrestling, and they're going to get pushed to the freaking moon. In other words, these big, jocked-up dudes and blah, 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 blah. And that's fine. People are entitled to whatever opinion they have. But the reality is, is wrestling as a whole, WWE specifically, could use any jolt of life, any infusion of energy, name power, star power, that they can possibly get. And in terms of actual gets that they can get, Gronk is pretty close to damn near the biggest one that they can get right now. Not from a wrestling standpoint necessarily, which is so insignificant anyways, but from a larger mass media appeal, which is what this is all about. You were talking about a guy in Gronkowski, one of the more notable personalities throughout his career in the National Football League, playing in the most popular sport in the country in the National Football League, playing football, a guy that is going to be a first ballot, no doubt about it, Hall of Famer in a few short years. You know, this guy was a star. He was a big star. A guy that was still being put on television by Fox to do some of the pregame stuff. You know, when you look at him, kind of like that frat boy who never grew up, that's exactly pretty much what the hell Gronk is. But most importantly of all, he brings name recognition. Significant name recognition. Maybe not on the level of true, true household names, but he isn't that damn far behind. It's not like you're going to get Tom Brady to walk through the door and he's going to be doing fucking hurricanranas. You know, Gronk's a really big deal and Gronk is a really big get for this company. And if you can't understand the value or the importance or the significance of bringing a guy in like that, then I don't know what the hell to tell you. All I know to tell you at this point is I'm thankful to hell that you're not running any wrestling company that I'm watching. Because we need stars. We need star power. We need personalities. We need name recognition. All of these things that Gronk has that the vast majority of wrestlers today do not, cannot, and will not ever have. It ain't about the damn flips and kicks, people. When it became about the flips and kicks, that's why the audience went, <clears throat> it went away. Viewership dropped. Attendance dropped. Because it's about the stories, it's about the characters, it's about the moments. This is not opinion, this is fact. Those are the things historically that help wrestling do its best business. So why in the bluest of blue Fs wouldn't you want to bring in people that could more closely align with that? And especially when you bring in a guy like Gronkowski, here's a guy that's already naturally got heavyweight size. Something that is lacking in that company. Here is a guy that actually has some personality. Sometimes it's going to come across as corny, and it may not always translate in terms of a pure wrestling promo, but there's a knit factor with the guy. There's a presence there that people will naturally gravitate to. And as a result... He can be a big win for you. You also bring him into the door as a football guy. You bring him in as a face. And now your heels have a chance 
to sit there and work against him and talk about how they resent him and how he's not meant for this game. Like, you've got natural built-in storytelling elements abound. And sure, he's not going to step in right away and blow the roof off the damn joint, but by God, what's the harm in this? The, well, you know, they could have given that money to other talent they already have, and, you know, like, gosh, shut up, that's life. Think about how many of you in the workplace get screwed over by this. They'll hire in somebody in your company to a higher level than you because there's some hotshot punk ass out of college. And just because they may have a degree and you do not, even though you have years of experience, it doesn't matter. And you'll be given feedback about the things you need to do to actually get to that level. And all the while, the only feedback you should have given yourself was, I'll go get my damn college degree, leave the company, and boomerang back, and they'll hire me to a higher level than I can ever possibly achieve doing it the right way. It's stupid, I know, and that's how the damn world works. Gronkowski is the perfect example of what this company needs. They don't need the same old, same old, same old type of dude. And if you can work with him, and you can teach him, and you can help him understand what it's like to be a performer in a WWE lens, then this is a guy that could potentially bring some value to you. This is a guy that could certainly bring eyeballs to your product. This is a guy that could potentially put asses in the seats. Now that said, that's no guarantee of anything. Just because you are a draw or you are a star in one form of entertainment or one genre or one sport doesn't automatically mean that that translates over to a different world. There is no guarantee that Gronk is going to come in and help the WWE do bigger and better numbers at the gate, do bigger and better numbers in their viewership on a weekly basis. There's absolutely no guarantee like that. He could come in and he could be a wet fart. He could come in and it just doesn't work. He could come in and it's totally a disaster. But by God, you know what? It is worth the gamble. It is worth the risk because the payoff could be potentially many times over, what you initially invested in him. There is nobody else, and I'm going to emphasize again, there is nobody else right now that the WWE could sign that is a wrestler that could have the potential for impact that a Gronk could. Because a Gronk is going to sit there when you go for SummerSlam or Royal Rumble, Survivor Series, WrestleMania, big shows, big events in local towns, Gronk's going to be somebody that's in demand. Gronk's going to be somebody that the media wants. And you think about it from WWE standpoint, especially they're talking about debuting them Friday on SmackDown, my birthday. I'm actually going to spend part of my birthday watching SmackDown. Why? Because Gronk is allegedly supposed to freaking be there. Here's a guy that you could easily give consistent presence on television. Because you could still have Fox loop them into pregame and halftime shows and their football coverage. So there's name and face recognition there. If he's brought in on CBS to talk about the AFC, talk about Tom Brady, talk about Belichick, talk about the Patriots. Well, here's a guy, you know, former New England Patriots, tight end, current WWE superstar. You know, like you just can't pay for that level of advertising and promotion marketability, and awareness. And the good thing about a guy like Gronk is even though you associate him with having played in the league for nine seasons since he was a second-round pick out of Arizona in 2010, the reality is this is still a really young dude. He's only in his damn early 30s. So you have the potential to get many years out of him. Now, will it work out like that? Do I envision Gronk's going to be a full-time dude that's going to want to do this for 10 or 15 years? Absolutely not. And frankly, I would think that he would be nuts to do so. And based off everything we've ever heard about Gronk and we've heard from Gronk, this is not a dude that likes to live it super large in terms of spending his money. You know, he spent his endorsement money. He hasn't spent his actual contract money by and large, similar to what a beast Mo Marshawn Lynch has done. Um, so this is more of a pure passion play and a potential to profit a little bit more. Sure, it doesn't hurt, 
But this is not a money motivated, money driven decision ultimately for Gronk. This is a passion project. This is something he wants to try. He's curious to do. He's looking for what to do to fill the void in the next stage of his life. Now that his active playing days are gone, he probably needs a distraction to avoid the temptation to go back into wrestling. And here's a way he could just still do a physical form of entertainment without quite having the level of abuse on his body uh, that football has, although he might be in for a world of hurt when he comes to realize what wrestling is about. But if he gets the right schedule, you know, you might get a couple of years out of him. And if you do that, and he even moves the needle a tad for you, then it was worth it. And if he doesn't, and it doesn't work, then it was still worth it. Sometimes you got to take a shot. You swing for the fences. You either hit a grand slam or you strike out. But you're never going to do anything if you don't take a chance. So I do agree with the WWE doing this because, frankly, it was something they needed to do, something to give them a little bit of a press, frankly, to stand out a little bit. And well-timed it ended up being with all these other sports leagues canceling activities due to the coronavirus. Now you got some talk about Gronkowski out there. You know, it's worked out pretty well for him, I guess. But in general, you have to do this. And if you're not done with this, I just think you're crazy at this point.